It's never a dull moment in the world of AI. There have been so many cool updates that happened this past week, including an AI that can detect diabetes, OpenAI's Dev Day announcements, Elon Musk announcing his new AI called Grok, as well as Amazon announcing their new AI, as well as Nvidia's supercomputer breaking record highs in AI model training. Here are the top items in AI news and research you don't want to miss out on. This first article shows how AI can be used to identify faces of geese and other animals. Researchers have developed an AI tool for facial recognition in geese, which is about 97% accurate in identifying geese by their beaks. Facial recognition with AI is also being used for other animals, such as bears and lemurs. This is important for ecology and conservation because it allows researchers to determine population size and social interactions among individuals. In this next article, researchers have developed an AI that can detect type 2 diabetes just by analyzing a person's voice. Nearly half of adults with diabetes are undiagnosed, especially in low and middle income countries. Using only voice recordings, they created an AI model that can detect diabetes with 89% accuracy in women and 86% accuracy in men. This is possible because diabetes may affect the vocal cords and respiratory system, affecting voice quality. This is just a very preliminary study and more research is needed to test the AI in larger and more diverse populations. Factors to consider include race, ethnicity, and socioeconomic background. Last week, OpenAI held their dev day with exciting new announcements. They introduced GPT-4 Turbo, which is an improved version of GPT. The context length increased to 128K, allowing for more information to be processed. It can now follow instructions better and provide consistent outputs. Knowledge Cutoff also extended to April 2023 for more up-to-date information. These changes are now part of the paid plan of ChatGPT. It's also already faster than previous GPT versions, but more speed improvements are coming. Users can now build their own ChatGPT and publish it themselves, without much technical knowledge. GPTs can be customized for various purposes, such as lesson planners or graphic designs. An entire GPT store will be published later this year. In other news, Humane, a startup in San Francisco, has developed a wearable device called the AI Pin. This is a small device that can be worn on the chest and has features like taking photos, sending texts, and projecting a visual interface onto the user's palm. It's designed to replace smartphones and reduce dependency on them. The AI Pin will be available for purchase in the US starting November 16th with a price of only $6.99 plus a monthly fee for unlimited calling, texting, and data. The device is meant to be worn all day and is lightweight and comfortable. It uses taps, hand gestures, and voice commands for control and has a voice assistant called AI Mike. The device runs on Google's Android and will support navigation and shopping capabilities in the future. It comes with a camera, a laser projector, and other sensors and has a distinctive design made from aluminum. The battery life is not disclosed, but it comes with two battery packs and a portable charging case. Humane plans to add more features and integrations to the pin in the future. This is one of the first in a new trend of wearable devices that uses AI and is aimed at a wide range of users. In other news, an AI model called Grok was launched by Elon Musk's XAI company. Grok is designed to answer questions with humor and has real-time knowledge of the world. It's still in early beta stage, but will improve with user feedback. XAI wants to create AI tools that benefit humanity and empower users, so the goal for Grok is to assist in research, innovation, and the pursuit of understanding. Grok has shown strong performance in reasoning and coding tasks, and surpasses other models in its compute class on various benchmarks. Grok also performed well on a real-life math exam. But again, this is still in early beta, so more updates are going to come soon. Jumping over to Google, Google has developed a new weather model called MetNet3. Forecasting weather has historically been quite challenging and not very accurate. MetNet3 provides accurate 24-hour forecasts for precipitation, temperature, wind speed, direction, dew point, as well as other weather variables. 
It outperforms traditional weather prediction models and has a high resolution of 1 to 4 kilometers. If you want to get into the details, they used a technique called densification to merge weather data into a single pass through a neural network, which is then trained to spit out a probability distribution for each weather variable, providing very rich information. The system uses near-continuous inference to create full forecasts based on incoming data streams. The forecasts are available on Google's products, providing hyper-local weather insights. Moving on to NVIDIA, their EOS supercomputer broke its own AI training record. Training a large language model can take a long time using regular hardware, but that's no problem for NVIDIA, which unveiled their supercomputer called EOS that can train a 175 billion parameter language model in just under four minutes. EOS is powered by over 10,000 H100 Tensor Core GPUs and has 860 terabytes of high bandwidth memory. And for non-technical folks out there, this all just means it's really badass. Going into the specifics, NVIDIA set six records in benchmark tests, including training a stable diffusion model in 2.5 minutes and training a BERT language model in 7.2 seconds. This supercomputer can be rented for only $37,000 a month by companies looking to expand their AI capabilities. NVIDIA plans to use this supercomputer for various tasks such as model development, GPU design, and autonomous driving. In other news, GitLab introduced DuoChat, which is a set of AI features to help developers be more productive. Duo is similar to ChatGPT. It's basically a chatbot that includes issue summarization, code suggestions, vulnerability explanations, and more tools for developers. Duo can access all code, even if it's not open in the IDE, setting it apart from others in the field, and giving it more context to help developers with coding. In other news, PepsiCo has developed an AI to eliminate crunching sounds while gamers wearing headsets eat Doritos, which is also owned by PepsiCo. They trained this noise cancellation AI with over 5,000 crunch sounds. The goal is to allow gamers to enjoy their Doritos without disturbing their fellow players. In other news, Runway's Gen 2 model has just been updated. Gen 2 now produces more realistic and consistent video results. Users can extend AI-generated videos and control camera movements with the Director Mode feature. This gives creators much more control when generating their AI videos. In other news, Samsung has developed an AI called Gauss that can generate images and summarize documents. Gauss consists of three parts, Gauss language, Gauss code, and Gauss image. The language portion can handle tasks such as writing emails and translation. Gauss image can generate and modify images for creative use. The model is named after mathematician Carl Gauss and reflects Samsung's vision to improve consumers' lives with AI. It's possible that Gauss could be included in the upcoming Galaxy S24 smartphone. In other news, Google's AI-powered search experience, also known as SGE, is expanding globally to over 120 countries. SGE is basically like an AI chatbot in Google's search results. Think of it as like a competitor to Bing Chat. SGE has been updated to include new features such as summarization of articles, definitions of unfamiliar words, coding improvements, image generation, and writing drafts. Google is also testing a way for users to ask follow-up questions directly on the search results page. More updates to come on that. And finally, Amazon is working on a new AI model called Olympus. They claim it will be twice the size of OpenAI's GPT-4. Olympus has 2 trillion parameters compared to GPT-4's 1 trillion. Amazon plans to incorporate Olympus into its online store and Alexa smart speakers. And that's it for the top AI news and research this week. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other types of videos you would like to see. Also, we built a site where you can search all the AI tools out there. Check it out at ai-search.io.